All right, week six, Operation Football, what a night. We have one of these every year. Just when you think you know, you don't know. What a game for our monster matchup living up to its billing. Bellevue West and Gretna, what a ball game. KETV News West 7's Matt Foster is live in Gretna with the details. Matt, what a football game. Andy, on a night that had chaos across the state, Gretna and Bellevue West certainly played their part in all of that chaos. Everyone expected a high scoring affair in this one, and they got just that, but maybe not in the way we would have thought. But the quarterback battle lived up to the hype. This actually the first ever meeting between these two teams, and it was a memorable one. The Dragons would strike first. No surprise, it comes through the air. Zane Flores dropping it in a bucket to Michael Sheaf. Just like that, 7-0 Dragons after one. In the second, Flores showing off the footwork. This time gets in from three yards out, and it's 14-0 Dragons. But then the T-Birds got rolling. Daniel Kalen with the pump fake and drops a dime to Isaiah McMorris. 70 yards. Brings Bell West within seven, just like that. And the T-Birds would take the lead as the first half ended. Kalen on the keeper, 16-14 birds at the break. West would keep things rolling in the third quarter. Kalen, this time to Davon Hall, who hauls it in. The beautiful grab, and West is up 23-14, but they weren't done. On their next drive, the wheel route is always open. And Kalen finds Gio Contreras, Think fast, run fast, and he does. The T-Birds with 37 unanswered points to take a 37-14 lead, but Gretna did not quit. They climb all the way back. Floors connects with Caleb Zachwell for the 45-yard score. The two-point attempt was good, and we're tied. The Dragons would get the ball back one last time, and they make it count. Cameron Bothwell's 25-yard kick is good, and Gretna completes the improbable of comebacks 40 to 37, the final. I think the score is 37 to 14. I mean, you know, there was just kind of some bad energy in there, but you know, we had a lot of leaders that stepped up. Um, you know, they never gave up. They kept bringing the guys along, and um, you know, I guess that, that's why you don't give up right there. So our guys did a great job of that. Gretna now a perfect 6-0, still unbeaten, and likely the new number one team in Class A when they travel to Papio South next Thursday. Reporting live at Gretna High School, Matt Foster, KETV Newswatch 7 Sports. All right, thank you, Matt. Gretna not alone in getting pushed on this Friday night. Top-ranked Westside loses at North Platte, and the Bulldogs score the go-ahead touchdown with 19 seconds left. The Warriors had one last chance, but North Platte gets the stop. 21-17 the final score. Westside now 5-1. and one. Elkhorn South stays perfect. The Storm taking care of business at Fremont. Kearney, the only other unbeaten in Class A, they lose for the first time to Grand Island. All right, over the, on the north side of town, Huskies Northwest taking on Omaha North. Vikings scoring early and scoring often. Tayshawn Porter breaking the tackle. Nobody's going to stop him. 7-0 North. Later in the quarter, Vikings getting it done through the air. Kevon Shannon wide open. North blanks the Huskies 64 zip. Omaha Central and Caleb Pifrom on the heels of getting the Husker offer earlier in the week. Eagles taking on Creighton Prep. Junior Jay's doing it with defense. Ezra Vedrill the pick. And then a few plays later, it's Charmer Brown knocking it in from three yards out. Then it's Marty Brown once again, 44-yard touchdown. Creighton Prep wins 55-zip. They've now won four of their last five. To Buell, Millard North up 10-0 on Millard West. The Wildcats would then outscore the Mustangs 40-3 from there on out. Will Anderson, Jackson Williams, 74-yard hookup, 10-7 Millard North. Then it's Anderson. Watch this play. He'll scramble. He'll take off. He's going to run for the pylon, and he fumbles where Noah Schrader will pounce on it. And then Brody Peterson, a big run just before half to, for another score. Wildcats go on to win 40-13. to Over at Collin Field, Omaha South hosting Papio South. This one all Titans. A big hole for Devin Jones, making some Packers miss and does it himself. 30-yard run for the touchdown. Papio South up 7-0. Then it's Devin Jones again, this time from close range. 
Titans win big. Papio South now 5 and 1. How about Bellevue East taking on Benson on homecoming for the Chieftains? Pick this one up second quarter. Mason Chandler throws it up for Mark Jack and Mark Anderson, I should say, who brings it down. That puts Bellevue East on top. Next drive, Chandler helping out his opponents. Watch this pick six. Daryl Sterling Jr. Near the end of the half, the Bunnies pick six. They go into halftime with the lead. This one, an absolute wild one. Bellevue East. This game goes to double over, triple overtime, I believe. Bellevue East wins this one 51 45, your final. To Underwood, Iowa. Eagles fans, you know, they do jumping jacks for every score, one jumping jack for every point scored. Well, they got to work out early against the trainer. The fans do it too. Eagles already up 7 0. Maddox Nelson hits the hole. And giddy up, he's gone. 77 yards on the score. It's 13 0 Underwood. Then it's quarterback Alex Ravlin. Watch this perfect pass on a beautiful night to Mason Boothby. 37 yards. Beautiful. Underwood showing why they're ranked third in Iowa's Class 1A. Eagles win 54 0. Woo! It's halftime here on Operation Football. Up next, the Class B story. That includes our fan favorite game in Elkhorn. But to take us to break, here are the Lewis Central cheerleaders.